Morning, y'all. China's military rise is accelerating because its political system is built to move fast while the United States remains divided and slow to adapt. The core issue is structure. China runs a, pol a vertically aligned state, party, military, industry, universities, energy. Decisions flow down without friction. Data flows up without resistance. There is no privacy vetoes, no shareholder suits, no state versus federal standoff. Artificial general intelligence rewards that structure. AGI needs three inputs, data, compute, authority. China controls all three at scale. Once the party decides, the system moves. Factories shift, universities pivot, military doctrine updates. AGI does not need creativity first. It needs coordination, optimization, speed. Authoritarian systems reward obedience. AGI rewards obedience. That fit is structural, not ideological. Hypersonic missiles expose the danger. Speeds above Mach 5 collapse time. Detection windows shrink. Decision cycles compress. Traditional defense assumes a chain. Detect, track, decide, intercept. Hypersonic, break that chain. They maneuver in flight. They fly below radar horizons. They evade prediction at terminal phase. The result is fewer warning minutes, less human judgment, more automation. That pushes states toward launch on warning, toward pre-delegation, toward machine speed escalation. Hypersonics are not just weapons, they're crisis accelerants. The real danger emerges with hypersonics meet AGI. Hypersonics demand automation. Automation invites AGI. Human in the loop becomes human on the loop, then human out of the loop. A centralized state accepts as faster. Distributed democracy resists it. China can fuse sensors, satellites, targeting, strike, and narrative under one authority. The United States cannot do that without delay, litigation, and public fracture. This context explains why limiting Chinese access to U.S. research matters. Espionage is institutional, not accidental. Cases span decades, aerospace, semiconductors, materials, AI, biotech. Knowledge theft avoids trial and error, it avoids cost, it avoids time. Open societies leak by design, closed system harvests that openness. Universities are ideal targets, young researchers, shared labs, open publication, misaligned incentives. Talent exchange is not symmetric. Ideas move west to east. Power follows. Restricting access is not xenophobia. It's a counterintelligence. The goal is simple. Slow transfer. Raise costs. Buy time. This is not about race or students. It's about state capture. Chinese nationals operate under party law, mandatory cooperation, family leverage. That is a structural fact, not a moral judgment. No student can opt, opt out. The broader comparison to, is stark. China pairs centralized authority, industrial scale, AGI readiness, and hypersonic delivery. The United States pairs fragmented government, litigation, open research, and slow production. These systems do not absorb AGI equally. One accelerates, one hesitates. The hard truth remains AGI favors command states, hypersonic favors speed over debate. Open societies can survive this only by defending openness with limits. Not every door stays open, not every exchange stays free. Strategy begins with realism, Los Abes.